Today's subject is about the one-handed backhand. Um, do you sometimes feel cramped with your one-hander and it's very tough for you to generate power? Usually it's because you're hitting the ball too late. On a backhand, you really have to get the ball out in front of your hitting shoulder. You want to be leaning into the shot and because the hitting shoulder here is closer to the net, you've got to get the ball a good foot to a foot and a half in front of your lead foot. Okay, so that hitting arm is fully extended. When players are hitting back here, they often feel cramped because they're not preparing quick enough. On a one-handed backhand, you've got to prepare you know, quicker. You've got to get ready because you've got to be able to step in and hit the ball well in front of your lead foot. Let me just show you the difference um, between a forehand and a backhand contact point. When you're hitting a forehand, you can hit just, just in front of the lead foot, okay? All right, my lead foot is here. I'm hitting pretty much even a little bit in front of the lead foot. Now, with a one-handed backhand, you want to be out here. Okay, you want at least a racket's length. The head of a racket there, distance between your torso and your elbow. Okay, so you've got to get it out there, out in front. Now, I've got a little drill that'll help you get used to that feeling. Okay, you simply put a ball in the fence. That's your contact point. And then to get used to that feeling of hitting it out in front, stand back at least a couple of feet from the fence. And then drop down, remember you've got to swing low to high, so drop down below that contact point there. Get your racket here below it, and then just let your racket come up and check and see what kind of space you have here. Okay, so you want to step back, step in, and lean into the shot. There are, that's what I want right there. I want to hit it out in front. But get used to that feeling, you're not going to be cramped and you're going to be getting more power with your backhand. Okay, here in slow motion you're going to get a good look at stepping in there and getting that racket out in front. The ball has just left my strings and you can see there that I've got nice space between my torso and my elbow. Okay, here again. There's the racket take back, shoulders are turning. Now I'm taking a step in and boom, right there again, you can see the ball is out in front. I've got good space again between the elbow and the torso. That's really gonna help you not feel cramped. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, get that one-hander out in front. You need a good foot to a foot and a half. You're not gonna feel cramped and you're gonna get more power as well. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And for more videos, my website is in the description box. I have a backhand course that goes into detail on every aspect of the one-handed and two-handed backhand. Slice, backhand volleys, topspin, the whole package. So check that out as well. All the best and happy backhands. Take care.